Okay, I'm going to try and uh, explain how to make primers for your gene of interest. And then if you want to use a hist tag with it uh, for protein purification, uh, that will also be in here. And uh, we're going to try and put it in a plasmid. And uh, I kind of understand it now, so I want to clear, uh, clear it up and save you guys some headache. Um, so <clears throat> we need NEB cutter. We need add gene. And we need NCBI. All right, so let's start at NCBI. Uh, we want to go to a nucleotide sequence. Uh, I'm going to use the gene that I uh, presented, uh, ACE2. <clears throat> so ACE2 and Homo sapiens, that's the mRNA. That's what we want. Good. So we shot down to the bottom, but here would be the top. Click the coding sequence here, CDS. Uh, it's going to select... Uh, and highlight the whole coding sequence. So there's the ATG at the start. So let's go ahead and uh, copy that. Uh, go, go ahead and go to NEB cutter. That's going to tell us what our restriction enzyme sites are. Let's submit it. So here's my amino acids at the top. That's my whole gene. Here's a bunch of one cut restriction sites. I believe they're going to be all the commercial ones. Uh, but we're going to go to the zero cutters list. We don't want to cut our gene in half. We just want to cut at the ends and insert it into a plasma. So here's a whole list of every uh, um, restriction and endonuclease that um, can cut here, uh, or not cut, number of cuts zero. Uh, so let's go back here to add gene. Now we got to put it in a plasma. So we got to figure out what uh, cutting sites we want. Uh, we can go to resources, <clears throat> excuse me, vector database. Um, if you're putting it in a um, something for mammalian expression, then mammalian expression or bacterial expression. So I'm going to click mammalian expression. Um, we're going to view all sequences, analyze sequence, and um, oh, this is going to show us our map. So uh, where's the MCS on this? Ooh. Let's get out of that. <laughs> um, but this is this is just so you're. Uh, familiar. Sometimes it doesn't pop up to analyze sequence right away, so you would go through those steps. But uh, I'm going to use the PC DNA 3.1 plus plasmid plus add gene. Um, so, uh, and this one's not available from add gene, so it gives me a different screen. So I click sequence there. Um, so this blue site is my uh, multiple cloning sites. So that's where we want to find a restriction site that inserts it in. Um, and then we have our uh, CMV, that's our uh, virus promoter that won't express in uh, bacterial cells. That'll express in mammals only. Um, but anyway, um, restriction sites, so I'm, you can pick these. Um, as, as long as there's zero cuts uh, in your gene with them, you're fine. So I used AFL3 and KPNI. Uh, so find uh, KP or KPNI, so KPNI is a zero cut. I use that at the end. Go ahead and um, copy and paste your thing into the one, um, or a different window. And I used uh, AFL3 at the front. So AF, AFL3, so neither of these are, uh, neither of these are on my um, mRNA sequence, so I can use them as cutters. So uh, once we have that, uh, let's go here. Um, so if we want to talk about adding um, a hist tag, um, it's, it's a sequence of uh, histidine. Um, we need six to ten of them, and uh, that's going to help us with uh, hist tag affinity chromatography and purifying our protein um, at the end. Um, to prevent this tag from actually affecting the protein we want, we're going to have a linker of glycines. And um, because we're making a primer that is not complementary to our other DNA sequence, we need at least 16 bases specific to our gene of interest next to the histine tag so that it lines up properly and starts um, building our DNA. Um, so histine is CAT or CAC. I use CAT. Uh, glycine is GGA. GGC, GGT, or GGG. Um, when you're making your primer, you need that uh, close to 50% uh, uh, G to C ratio. So uh, if you're short on Gs and Cs, you can make it a C at the end or a G at the end. 
um, if you need to bring that number down to your NA. Um, <clears throat> so here's our restriction sites, AFL3, that we pulled off of NEB Cutter and KNOI. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make our primers with this now. Um, the CTTAAG, that is our uh, first restriction site, AFL3. That's our first restriction site here. Um, so there's the start. Now we need an ATG to start the protein sequence. Um, and then immediately after, we need our six uh, hist histidines. Hist yeah, histidine. And um, here's our glycine linker, G GGA, GGA, GGA. Um, and then after that, we need to have at least 16 of our uh, gene of interest. So uh, what I was confused about is this ATG. You still need it here because it does code for methionine. Um, uh, originally, I had this uh, not here, and I thought this AG, ATG would be um, sufficient. And But this would be in between, so that, that would make sense. So we need another ATG because this is where our protein starts. So it goes on ATG, TCAA, GC. And uh, that's our sequence right here, ATG, TCA, A, G, C, <clears throat> and so on. I, I think I picked 21 nucleotides. Um, you only need 16 uh, to make sure that that links up. Um, so um, for our reverse primer, uh, the original sequence at the end is uh, 5 prime to 3 prime here. TAG is a stop codon, another stop codon. We could have TAA or... Um, TGA. But so here's our TAG, and then there's uh, three T's in front of it. Um, so here's our TAG here, stopping our protein sequence. Here's our three T's in, three T's in front of it. So uh, what we do here now, again, we need our restriction site. Um, uh, you'll notice the KNOI is exactly the same here, GG, TACC. Um, but if you uh, make it complement and then flip it, it still says the same thing. Uh, that's the fun thing about restriction um, enzymes. Um, but so now we need to go back. So this G corresponds to this C. This A corresponds to this T. This T corresponds to this A. And then um, from here forward, we need 16 uh, at least so that the complementary sequence lines up. And then even though this doesn't line up, the polymerase will still uh, make a copy here. So then uh, in PCR, we get um, our completed gene. 